Hey everyone, I'm Angela. Welcome to Silver Linings, and it's time for another edition of Tuesday Wig Find of the Week, right here, right now. So the site that I found this weekend was from a gal who goes by the name Platypus Solution Dominique Seven. Oh man, I'm, I, I, she's French. Dominique. So Dominique, um, I'll share my screen with you. Dominique is showing us a Paula Young wig, and the Paula Young wig is named Heidi. As I watched Dominique, uh, I didn't realize that for whatever reason, I don't, I haven't looked at Paula Young for lace front wigs or anything like that. I guess I've just thought about her for choppers. So let's take a quick peek here and see what we can see from Dominique. It's a lace front, which is marvelous because when you don't have a bang, uh, the fact of having uh, a lace front wig is very, very cute. I think she's very cute. If you watch the whole video, she talks about her English isn't very good. Well, I think her English is wonderful. I, I speak no French. So to me, this is, she's got that beautiful French accent, but she's going to go on and tell us about the lace front and a few other things. And so let's move on. Adorable. Because even if there's full of wind, <laughs> windy day or whatever day, it, it looks like your real head and you know, it's easy to wear. It's very comfortable. It comes with a very standard, you know, that you have the two wires, metal wires here on the sides and uh, the, to put the two Velcro tab in the back. And uh, me, I call for, a, for an average size. I just want to interrupt Dominique for a moment. Here is the Paula Young site. And you can see the price point of this wig. And you can also see the colors that it comes in. Uh, in the gray family, the silver gray family, it comes in, put my glasses on. In the silver gray family, it comes in color 56, 60. And SF5160. Now, the, uh, the color that Dominique has on is the color SF5160. So let's get back to Dominique. Turn around a bit. <laughs> the spin. So you see how it falls? There's not plenty of it, but that's enough. That's enough. I, I, I don't need to, to have, you know, this uh, plenty look. So you can, you know, just brush it a bit. That's it. And if I don't want to see all this fuzz, you know, I'll just take my favorite uh, Irina Sol. I also have the Rackle Wish one. It works very well as well. And uh, and if uh, now just a real quick note there, you notice that she's she held up a Pantene bottle. Uh, I'd have to go back and look at it. I don't think that that is uh, designed especially for wigs, and of course we always caution not to use a hairspray unless it's a hairspray specifically made for wigs. There are some people who take issue with that, but you know just to be on the safe side, what I've learned. Kind of the hard way is use a, a wig safe hairspray and if you don't have some and you absolutely have to use that hairspray do it from a distance and, and put on as little as possible and a hairdresser told me a while back who does deal with wind who does deal with wigs that the tresemme uh, brand is she's had success with that with wigs but again i really don't know you just have to be careful okay let's go back I want to take this length and make it, you know. Okay, so she's just like gonna pull it up like on her head. 
I can do this, do this. See if she goes outside with it. Has a crown here. Uh, but it's it's okay, you know. As I say, well, you don't need to have a whole bunch of hair. Yeah, I think that it frames the face nicely. And and when she got up close to the lace front, I thought that the lace front looked very well done. I thought it looked very very natural. Let's go on. I do, of course I do. Hundred, you know, Let's it's not even a hundred dollars with there. you know uh, shipping and handling. So why not? Why not? You know, it's uh, it's fun. Okay, so I don't know what this wig is going to look like in, you know, if she wore it a lot, because it is long, it, it may start to fray, it may start to tangle. I don't know. Um, but I think for the price point, it's probably a good find. Okay, so as I was looking around a, a little bit further into Dominique's channel, she models another wig from Paula Young. It's called the Shannon wig. And what got my attention was there, look at that number, 5660A number B1. You see my, my mouse up here at the top right of my screen? 5660A, two beautiful silver gray colors, and ha um, with the number B1. So I wanted to share this link with you so that you might want to take a look at that as well right so she took she took this wig and she basically just put the headband out in front of it which i think is a great idea continue on here to show she's showing you the, the back gumby don't move from there please okay so you see from the back looks like it's layered in the back it's a straight layered style from the sides, on the other side and the front. And then again, just to get an idea of uh, Heidi in more direct light, you can see um, you can see her fibers a little bit better. This one is in Vanilla Swirl. This is from Sage Dawn's uh, channel. And uh, I think that she does a nice job of modeling it here. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna make sure that First of all, the wig is placed appropriately. So I'm gonna just shift it back a little bit. I think that's pretty good. Look, I look like a totally different person with this wig on. I did used to have long hair, but it wasn't blonde and long. It's such a pretty wig. I wanna show you the back. I haven't even combed it yet. So it feels like, I don't know, it feels so nice having long hair for once. Okay, so you get the idea, but I, I think that Heidi looks like a really nice wig. So if you're looking for something a little bit longer and you don't want to spend $300, I think that this would be an affordable solution for you. And let me go over to that site. So here we are again, back at the Paula Young site, and you can just right over here, check around. And this is this video is not sponsored by Paula Young. This is a service that I do for my subscribers. I'm looking for wigs for myself. I might as well share it with you. So I'm very interested in that SF5160 color, and I also like um, I like that color that I showed you that. Um, I've already forgotten what it is. Let's see. I like that color, the 5660A hashtag B1. So what I would probably do is a search just for that color and see if they've got keywords with that color in it without having to look at every single style of every single. <laughs> As you can see, it takes a lot of time to find a, to find a, a, a wig that you're really going to like in the silver gray and white family. So... That's basically it for today. Um, I hope that this was something that helped you uh, to find maybe a new wig or maybe your first wig or something fun, maybe a little bit different that you haven't tried before. By the way, this wig that I have on today, I will be reviewing her on Thursday. I like her very much. She's from the Affordable Series and she feels very, very, very comfortable on my head. So again, I'll be reviewing her this coming Thursday, and Saturday will be Saturday School. So glad to have you with me today for this Tuesday wig find of the week. 
If you like, give it a like, hit the little bell icon and subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And remember everybody, always look for the silver linings. Bye-bye.